So in our program here, we've just allowed you to enter and create any old password which is not secure enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to track them in a while loop until they enter a password that's actually good enough. So I'm going to use a while loop. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it uh, password finished. And I'm going to set password finished to false to start with. So this variable, it's called a Boolean because it stores true or false. And in a while loop, we're going to keep running until password finished. Sorry, we're going to keep running while password finished is false. So in other words, until we're actually happy with their password, we're going to keep asking them to enter it again. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the length of the password. We don't want people checking or just entering passwords with a length of nothing. So they just hit enter or they've got something with a length of three. So we want to be at least six uh, characters long because it'll take it a little bit longer. Uh, for that, we'll be hacked using something called brute forced, which just basically means they try all different combinations of characters. So we're going to check the length of the password, which is really easy because it's a input is a string. And that means that there's string functions like length or len, which checks how long something actually is. So let's check the length of password own. Now, that's a number. So I'm going to say if it's less than six characters long, I'm going to reject it. It's too short. You always want to make sure that you're telling the user this. So password rejected. Rejected. Too short. Must be six characters long. Now, of course, by default, if it's not less than six, it's going to be bigger than it's going to be at least six or bigger. So we can use the else statement uh, to let the user know that their password actually is accepted and to get out of our while loop. So I'm going to do print statement, password accepted, and then to get out of our while loop, all we need to do is we take password finished, and we set it to true because, well, we finished our first password. It's trapping it in that uh, while loop until they've actually entered something that is at least six, char six characters long. So if I run this, and I'm gonna use LTO as a username, and I'm gonna do uh, Bob as my password, you'll see, well, I've got an infinite loop. It's too, actually too much output to process. Lots and lots of password rejected there. Now that's because we've forgotten to actually have them re-enter their own password. So anytime you are using inputs to determine whether you're going in or out, like if you're going to loop, uh, loop, you have to actually make sure that you ask that question again. So after we reject their password, well, we ask them to type it again. So let's try that again. So enter a username, so LTO. Uh, let's try Bob again. Well, there's my password rejected. Um, and it's going to ask them to enter a password again. Um, and so this time we'll keep it nice and simple. We'll still do a really bad password and we'll use password. It's been accepted. So now it's checking for me to re-enter it. Now, because I forced them to have at least a six character long password, originally I don't need to do any sort of data validation uh, when they do the second one. So I can just type password and then it creates my file and I've added just in my file just says hacking 101.